So we've set up our first icon wallet. Now what we want to do is we've transferred some of our icon ICX into our wallet and we want to stake it so that we get the daily reward rewards that what I spoke about, you know, 13.8% a year based on how much I, ICX you have. So let's do that. I'm going to show walk step by step on how we do this. Now you probably notice I've got the original wallet I set up in my last video. I have not used this not deposited funds because obviously it, as part of the setup process I showed you my private keys and if anyone were to screen grab that they could restore the wallet and, and transfer funds out. So I have put in another wallet with a little bit of ICX in it over here. So to make it easy for everyone to view I'm just going to remove this wallet. There we go. So here's my showcase wallet. and. Some quick navigation as I called out before over here now because I only have this wallet had I had three wallets with different balances It, it would aggregate the balance together up here, but uh, given there's only one wallet what you're seeing is in USD You can see the value in different Your assets value in total in different in Ether Ethereum Bitcoin or a USD and down here you can see that I have icon and 6.99 875 ICX valued at that amount. So over here you've got staked. You can see clearly I haven't staked anything in this wallet, any of my icon. Uh, there's voting power, there's I score, and there's a few buttons here. So the first thing you have to do is obviously have a uh, balance, have some ICX in your wallet. Then we the first part of step of the process is you need to stake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stake, click stake. Now, every time you every time you go to do something through the wallet, whether it be transfer or uh, view or stake or unstake, it will ask for a password. This is a security uh, feature and and it's great. Keeps It ensures that anyone else say you've walked away, someone comes and starts playing on your computer, they may be able to view balance, but to actually do any kind of transfer, they would be required to type your the password to kick that off. Okay, so here we go. I have kicked off. The first thing you have to do is actually stake. So over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stake five ICX. Uh, you could do a max stake. You could take it all the way. But what uh, this is a good good thing to know is you notice it won't let you stake your entire balance because everything you do on the Icon network requires a little bit of ICX. You pay in fee for that to happen. Just like where you were to send money, there's in anything you do, there's a small fee that you have to pay. The Icon network is extremely cheap, not even a few not even cents is what you pay in fee, but by default the wallet will keep a little bit of ICX in there so that as you can see over here it's kept one so that if for any transactions you do, there you can pay the fees to get the transaction across the line. So uh, in my example though, I'll just bring it back. I want to pick five. And once you've done that, hit complete. And so we've got five. It's telling me based on my total balance, how much would be staked, 71%. Uh, estimated time, it hasn't given me that. I will come back to that. And here's here's the fee I spoke of. So as you can see, it is 0.0014 ICX that would get absorbed in fees to complete this function. There we go. Now if I hit click, um, if I hit check, it would load it up on the tracker for the blockchain and you could see the transaction has registered. We'll come back to that for now. There we go. Now, as if you didn't click on check track and you just click close and you notice nothing's happened, just do a quick refresh of the wallet and within seconds it will it will have registered the transaction. Uh, the icon blockchain is extremely quick. So 
here we go. I've got a voting power of five, exactly what I'd put in, and the the ICX that I hadn't um, registered for staking. So next step is you got to vote. So after you stake, then you got to vote. Now we'll click again. Same thing. Okay, here we are. Now, what is this vote? Why, why are we doing this? So uh, the Icon blockchain is a little bit different. It is, it is you stake your holdings and, and you put it against various teams that, that have nodes that process the block and keep the blockchain going. Now, what value do you add as a voter? Well, by voting, then you get rewards. The team that have these nodes, all these are all the different teams that we can see here. The team that that, that have these nodes, they get rewards based on how much uh, ICX they're holding on behalf of us who hold the tokens. And the overall goal of the system is it's a decentralized system with all these teams representing ICON. Their, their task is to help build the icon ecosystem and they could do it from various ways some teams market icon heavily other teams are actually building uh, new programs and features so like decentralized finance things like that they are being built by various teams on the by these various p reps on the icon ecosystem so uh, there are some some teams that uh, necessarily have just created a node and aren't doing anything you know so this is where we as voters get have that power to have a say and and ensure that the teams that are growing the ecosystem which by growing the ecosystem helps the value of the icon token itself so it's in our best interest to pick the right um, reps. So what you'll see here is you got just a quick explanation here. We've got the main P rep. These are 22 P reps based on how many votes they had from highest to lowest. They get they get nominated as the top 22 P reps, and then their sub P reps as well. So altogether, it, it tallies up to 100 100 reps with. And and then there 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 can be more as many P reps as people who want to spin up nodes and run run them, but at the end of the day, to get into the top hundred, they have to have uh, ICX voted to them. And and the way these teams get it often is get ICX voted to them is they talk about what they're building or what they're bringing to the ecosystem, and us voters then will nominate to the P reps that we feel is is gonna add the most value. So that that's a quick run through. I know I zoned in on it a little bit. Uh, as an everyday user, many people may not care about it. They just wanna stake it so that they get their returns. But I wanted to, to touch on why it's important to pick the, the right P reps. So you can pick as many as you want. For the purpose of this exercise, I'm just going to pick a few a few P reps. Reliant node. I'll add. So once once you find it, if if you didn't know, obviously I knew. So just you could scroll through. I, I'm going to pick Reliant node has has contributed plenty to the ecosystem. Um, these guys as well, excellent. They've got their own app as well. You can use. Okay, so. Here we are. I have picked five uh, P reps that I I know are contributing quite heavily to building out the Icon ecosystem, and and the, these are just my preferences. You you can do your research if if you didn't want to research uh, and you just wanted nominated. The, this is a great team to uh, to teams to put some of your ICX towards. So we've picked your P reps. Just, just one more call out is you could just nominate one and just put everything there, it, it, but uh, I think just given the nature of of the way the ecosystem works, you you add add a few just to break up 
how you spread your votes. So in this case, I have five uh, ICX. Each ICX can be voted. So I'll give everyone um, everyone one ICX. There we go. So that's everything nominated. I have to click the vote button for this to register, so I'm going to click vote. Here we go. Now again, this is called is creating a transaction, and that's why there is a fee involved. So I will click vote. Close. Okay. As you can see, there we go, just gave it a moment and it refreshed and I have voted here. So what I'll do is I'll click back onto my wallet. That's it. We have staked our ICX. So that's why you can see over here that we've got 71.4% staked. We've gone in and voted. That's why the voting power has disappeared. It's as simple as that. So what will happen after you after you stake your ICX, the first rewards take up to 48 hours. After 48 hours, every day around the same time, you will receive your reward based on what you have staked. This is how you install the Icon Wallet. This is how you uh, vote and stake your Icon. And here we are. What The last thing I wanted to show as well, just, just to further finish this off, is you can see that I had staked, I've got another wallet open over here where I have got my staked ICX, as you can see, and just got all my ICX in that wallet staked. What will happen is every 24 hours when you receive the reward, earlier you saw there was a section called iScore, that is your reward. It would it will show with the score. So you can see over here I've got four thousand five hundred and eight. The way the I score system works is one thousand a score of one thousand is one ICX. It's that simple. So when you have an I I score, you can claim it. So I'll click claim, and yes, it's asking me. And do I want to? I will receive. So you can see the 4508, which equates to 4.508 ICX. Uh, hit claim. There's a small transaction fee you saw down there. And the transaction fee is with every blockchain. That's just how it works. Even with Ethereum, you, you, every time you transfer Ether or any of the tokens that are on the Ethereum network, you pay a small fee to do that. So here we are. You probably noticed, oh, wait a minute, the, it hasn't refreshed. This was what I was saying earlier. Sometimes you just need to give it a quick refresh. There we go. You can see that uh, I have 35 ICX over here. Now, one of the great things is when your ICX is staked, one of the things that happens is for you to unstake and get your ICX back is there is a cooldown period, so an unlocking period. And that does fluctuate and there are changes being made in the background to speed up this process but it can be uh, 8 to 12 days so is that something to keep aware of however on the flip side what's fantastic about it is every day that you get the rewards as you saw with mine I had my daily rewards of 4.5 when I claim it it doesn't get staked I have it instantly I could choose to sell it or whatever I want to do with that ICX or I can restake it. So so it doesn't default get locked up. It is it is rewarded to you as unstaked and you can move it around or you can restake it so that you get com compounding rewards on top of that, which is often what I do as well. So I just wanted to talk through that and and highlight that aspect and I wanted to show you what the claim process is. So there once it's done we have it over here, everything's back to zero, zero, and tomorrow when 24 hours have passed, I will get an, I will see that I have a score again I can claim and keep adding to, to my uh, tally. Thanks for watching.